And this is the famed Princeton offense. There's Bird. He can do that. He'll five and five the last ten. Nance Jr. Make the pass and slipped underneath. Well, this is a great one. Here is the long three dropped in from Brett Olson. Zero for Wyoming. Six to shoot it. Grabo and he makes the bucket. That's typically not what he does. No. About 85% of his shots come outside the arc. No, he Olsen on hands. And it's uh, followed up and in by 32, Allen Herndon. Savvy down in the paint. A nice little NBA hook. There's Herndon with a quick flush from Riley Grabo with a bow on it. This is a pretty Olsen. good matchup to freshman. Oh, that's a great find. Griffin. From Brett Olson. Here, here in the early season, and that's how you end up with a, a deep bench at the end of the year. Well, there's the guy that seldom shoots it, knocking down a triple his sixth of the year, Brian Rucker from Frisco, Texas. And we're talking about a grown man. Nearly a steal. Here's Adams. Look out. One of the high flying guards in college basketball. He's got 42 inch hops. Oh, I think there's where that's I need a nice to post yeah, up. Yeah. 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 You can't double that, can you? Too many post up opportunities. This guy does. Dance, drop step. He's trapped and he finds Herndon. Count the basket for Alan Herndon. The redshirt freshman from Widefield High School in Colorado Springs. Yeah, no field goal since the eight minute mark. Bird inside and still no field goals till the follow by Griffin with nine seconds to go. Here's Adams. Inside to Nance and he pulls his way in for a layup right before the horn. What well done deep. by Adams. No question. I, I, you, Hankerson lets fly. And he's got it. First triple of the night for Wyoming. I love that shot for Hankerson because oh, that Wyoming last year. Larry Nance off the glass. There's a fellow down in San Antonio who's only here in the first five minutes of the second half. Cook. And he goes up and in. Good job. Good entry pass. Much too easy. You talk about doing your work wow. early, Coach. Wow. wow. Pioneers compared to that's Eastern are having a little trouble in the paint right now. Slip to the screen, and Herndon lays it up and in. Watch away from the ball. Josh Adams and Olsen going at it. Anderson got it to go. Anderson. Well, you, you got to close out a little bit on him, don't you? Well, yeah, they're massaging every possession and getting great shots every possession. Grabo, baseline, triple. The Cowboys have got to be careful not to kind of get lulled to sleep here. Ooh, McManaman with a long three. Uh, who had a very good career from Tony. Yeah, there, there's a character, Benny Dees. <laughs> he was. And that'll count. Adams with the driving layup. Switch off. As you mentioned, Alan Edwards had it tonight. Jeremy, Jeremy, which means that uh, Jeremy probably has the next matchup. Probably. Yeah. I, I mean, you. I, I would suspect that when they're done tonight, they'll get right to the SMU game. And I don't know whether it's Scott Dunn. and Wyoming and a crowd of more than 5,000 rises to applaud the seven and old Cowboys. They win at 68-42 over the University of Denver in the 152nd matchup. They're now 102 and 50 all time. And the Pioneers have not won at the double A since 1998. And for Wyoming, they kind of returned the favor. Larry Shiat's team lost 64-61 down at Magnus Arena last year in Denver.